why you create them. Uh, DDL triggers are special kind of triggers. They get fired on events whenever the schema changes. Unlike DML triggers, uh, DML triggers gets fired whenever uh, something happens to data. Whenever you create DML triggers um, and data, something happens to data, they get fired. But in DDL triggers, DDL triggers are highly uh, related to the schema of uh, of the uh, uh, server or the database. There, are, uh, DDL triggers have two scopes. One is server level scope, server level DDL triggers and other is database level DDL triggers. In server level uh, uh, DDL triggers, uh, if any database gets dropped, database gets created, anything that happens on the server level that touches the schema of the server, then DDL server level triggers gets fired. And uh, 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 DDL triggers, that's uh, data, da database scoped uh, DDL triggers, uh, if anything happens in the database, if you change the definition of a table, such as um, adding a column or deleting a column, uh, they get fired from the database. So um, DDL triggers actually get fired from create. Um, and uh, uh, these I have written down right here, create, alter, or drop. Any of these commands gets, uh, uh, if you... Um, write in your query, transactional uh, uh, SQL Server query, if you write them and if you run those commands and you have created DDL trigger, that is going to get fired. And why we use DDL triggers? Uh, they are for administrative and audit purposes. Let's say that you wanted to know that whenever uh, a schema of a table gets changed, I want to know that who changed it and when it was changed and what kind of change it was then you create a DDL trigger that can insert a record in your audit table and the same thing with alter and drop and uh, on server level trigger let's say that uh, if somebody goes maybe in DBA team if your teammate uh, uh, went ahead and dropped a database you wanted to know uh, that uh, who dropped the database when it was dropped all that kind of good stuff then you create a DDL trigger on a server level and uh, that may send an email to uh, rest of the team and etc so uh, DDL triggers are very uh, useful in certain scenarios especially in audit scenarios and uh, DBA loves them so uh, I hope that uh, I have explained enough DDL triggers and where and why we use them I hope this answers help